A Wrightsville woman whose son told his teacher he ate a marijuana cake for breakfast bonded out of jail today. Boy, to NBC's Alexa Rodriguez spoke to a pediatrician to find out what happens when a child consumes marijuana. A Wrightsville mother was arrested Wednesday after her five-year-old told his teacher he ate a marijuana cake for breakfast. Dr. Christy Peterson from the Medical Center Navison Health says the effects of marijuana are greater and more unpredictable on children than adults. Teenagers or adults, it may feel like sleepiness, but in a kid it can look like lethargy and it can even, in severe cases, lead to coma and it can even suppress their drive for respirations. Wrightsville police investigators say the Johnson County Elementary School teacher noticed the child was acting unusual in class. It makes them uh, sleepy, agitated, and um, ataxic, which means that they can't walk very well. Um, it makes them seem disoriented, um, makes them not perform well at school or be able to um, control their body like you know hand eye coordination would be decreased. Officers say when paramedics checked his pulse the rate was 200 beats per minute. A six year old child in first grade sitting at his desk would have a resting heart rate anywhere between 65 and 135 beats per minute. So yes 200 beats per minute is high. Dr. Peterson adds ingesting marijuana can be more dangerous because users can't be sure how much they're consuming. You can get to much higher doses by eating it because the effect is delayed, so there's 30 minutes to an hour to even longer, maybe a few hours before it's completely absorbed and the full effect is appreciated, so you can actually not know that you're being affected and keep eating it. 30-year-old Shakira Wiley is charged with second-degree child cruelty and contributing to the delinquents of a minor. In Macon, Alexa Rodriguez, 41, NBC News. Dr. Peterson adds there's a difference between marijuana used for medical purposes and the drug people buy on the street.